Today I want to share with you the fastest way to move through dungeons if you just want to steal loot. That's right, I'm talking open world dungeons with random treasure chests and bosses, I'm talking like uh, group dungeons if you solo group dungeons and you want to scout the dungeon to see if there's even treasure worth clearing the dungeon for stuff like that now everyone knows about or at least advanced players know about skip sets but this is a more advanced and more just min maxed form of a skip set so what we'll be using today is a very high different combination of items we're going to use a double bladed staff for movement we're going to be using courier work boots Harvester's Cap, um, any gathering chest piece. I'm using a Skinner's Garb just because it's my strongest um, it, uh, leather, or I'm sorry, it's my strongest gathering armor because it's 8.4 because, well, if you're a Skinner, you want that high animal poison to be as strong as possible. So it's the most tanky and gives me the most HP. Uh, Invis Pots, and then for our cooldowns, because we will want cooldowns for a boss, we brought a Royal Jacket, we brought an Assassin Hood, we have Omelets, um, normally you would bring a druidic staff to solo bosses in group dungeons. This is also to heal after you've um, skipped most of the dungeon. And of course our um, you know mob clearing set if we need to clear mobs and so on and so forth. So let's get into it. Um, here is Trinity Hall. Now I am filming this on the test room because on the main server most of the time chests won't always be up. And we're going to go find some chests. And we're going to go use ahead and equip our skip set here. So let's go ahead and put on the double bladed staff. You would generally want a higher level one because the higher leveled double bladed staffs give you more maximum HP, which is very important. We're going to pop on our uh, gathering armor. You can use any gathering armor piece. You can also use assassin jacket if you want. Though the gathering ones are generally cheaper and more tanky, at least for me because I'm a gatherer. Uh, with, an, with ambush or the invisible spell, we have the courier work boots and then we have the harvester cap. You don't have to use harvester cap. This is simply an extra invisibility if you need it. I'm also going to have an invis pod here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the way this is going to work is the way courier work boots work is it increases your move speed by 50%, but it will increase it by an additional 50% up to three times if you take damage. So what you need to do is find a bunch of mobs, t uh, make sure that they're hitting on you, cast your stun run, cast your motivating pain, and then haul butt through the dungeon. So it's gonna look a little something like this, okay? So we're gonna activate and then activate this. We got three stacks, there we go. Let's move, move, move. So again, you can see we're taking lots of damage here and we've already located two chests. So let's pop that invis, there we go. We have now popped invis, we're completely fine. We have two other sources of invis. While invis, I'm gonna swap to uh, our druidic staff here and we're just gonna chill in case there's a patrol or something. We have two more ways to go invisible. We're not at all in any danger. All right, I'm going to sit here and cast heal on myself. I don't even have the right ability, but whatever. Uh, generally, you would want to uh, use something like protection of nature. And here comes a patrol. Again, we're in no real danger. Even though I have toggled my skills, we're still in no real actual danger. I have two more invisibilities. Just going to kind of weave in between the patrols here. And we're going to go back to the, uh, the double-bladed staff here. And we need to make our way to this, uh, actually, yeah, to, to this uh, chest. And so, again, we have two more invises. We have another invis that's almost up. Let's see if we can find a spot in here that's safe. Uh, let's see, maybe that corner is safe. Maybe down here is safe. Uh, let's let's try, yeah, let's go to this corner. So I use my helmet's invis, all right. And uh, I don't know if this guy patrols down, but we still have one more invis just in case he does or doesn't. At this point, I can just put on my real set. I won't have my boots ability, but let's say I needed my boots ability. This is where the royal jacket and the assassin helmet come in, okay? So what these are going to do, the royal jacket, you don't have to use 8.3, it's just what I had laying around. This ability will reduce your cooldown rate by 30%, so it's pretty nice. Now, obviously, uh, I had to use my helmets and viz here, so I don't have my helmet ability either. That's also where this jacket comes in. You can just sit here and spam your your spell and reduce the cooldowns on these while you wait. If you need them for the boss, depending on who or what you're fighting, you might need them. But um, any regular player would have to clear through all of this mess to get to this chest, but we're already here. Uh, so I, I can just go ahead and put on my, my uh, you know, mob clearing set now. I don't really need my cooldowns, you know, for anything. And uh, for food, I do want to use life stealing pork roast for this, obviously. So that's part of the you know, soloing, you know, static dungeon build, soloing group dungeon build. 
uh, which is not being taught here in this video today. But we can we can just go ahead and pull all these dudes. Maybe I'm pretty sure you know we can. And let's just go ahead and get started here. And there we go. And I'm gonna get interrupted there, maybe a little bit. But you can see that uh, I am nuking the hell out of all these guys, and I should be able to steal this chest. This chest might be tied to these mobs over here, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> this is just a far faster and more efficient way to farm these chests. Alright, so the chest unlocked. That means uh, these guys were not part of it, and there we go. We just, you know, plundered our first chest. There's 50k. I know that's not much. It's the test room. I'm not going to actually loot it, but you get the point. Now, we switch back to our skip set, of course. Go ahead and put our invises back on. And we're going to go to the next chest now. And you just rinse and repeat this. You can do this for group dungeons. You can scout the group dungeon. You can move about very, very quickly for your, for your work boots. And you could also go undead cape. I forgot to mention you could wear an undead cape for a, another layer of invisibility if you're really concerned about repair bills. But to me, this is far more than enough. Uh, let's see. The next, there was a chest over here kind of in the middle. So we could run there or I can explore up here and see if there's any chests or bosses. It's completely entirely up to you how you want to do this. All right, so we're going to activate our boots here and make sure we get hit three times. There we go. We got the three hits. So we are moving. We are grooving. We're speeding. We are going as fast as possible. And remember, I can also jump. I can do like a jump like this. And um, I can just go and viz. Like there's a chest here on the left. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and viz because there's no way I would survive. We also have a patrol coming, so that's a little troublesome. But, uh, oh, that one aggroed us. That's why we have the second invis. We're going to use our helmet now. And uh, we have another patrol coming, so that's, oh, again, troublesome. Now, I wasn't able to swap weapons here. We have our third invis, so we're going we're gonna to reposition. This is where the potion comes in. That patrol would get us to. We're just going to chug the potion. Okay, there we go. And now we get to a little safe spot. We're going to swap to our healing weapon in case we aggro. If we aggro anything now, we could fight it off. We can also self-heal. So we're completely fine. And yeah, that took three invises. If we got, you know, in trouble again, you would really want that undead cape. But you can just heal yourself because I'm an 8.4. I have natural healing very quickly. But there you go. So because of all of our, our helmet, our boots are on cooldown, I don't really need those for my build. I'm safe to swap to something that can, you know, clear mobs quickly. So let's just swap to all of our Gucci stuff here and start clearing the mobs around this second chest. Let's see, that is actually a dangerous pull without my boots and without my helmet. I think I can do it though, but man is that a tough pull. If we kill the archer, we should be okay. Like, we might be okay. This is actually very difficult. <laughs> so I'm going to play it a little safe, and we have a patrol coming, which is not good. I'm going to go ahead and cast the heal now. Try to, I'm trying to kill the archer as fast as possible, because that's the big damage is the archer but yeah we oh we got this we're, we're totally fine there we go. Yeah, no problems <laughs> all right and that is chest number two and uh, yeah you could just normally clear through but here's the thing on the real servers there's going to be other players in these statics also you know combing through these dungeons if you run ahead and that was only worth eight thousand again this is just a tier four static dungeon it's not really the best you know but if you're doing this in group dungeons it absolutely is so we're gonna swap back now to our you know little invis runaway building you can see all of our cooldowns are back down we're able to do this once again now if you want you could not use courier work boots you could use the um the skinner boots and uh you don't you won't run nearly as fast that's the problem with the skinner boots they are way slower so let's uh let's make sure we got a few things hitting us here and then there we go. So look how fast we run. It is nuts. It's just crazy how fast we move. So I'm going to scout up here for the boss. That's uh, kind of the point here. And uh, if I wanted to, I can. I still have a dash. There we go. I still have a, a leap. We can leap there just like that. And I might be able to naturally drop aggro here without the need for invisibility. Yes. So there we go. That's really useful. So there's a boss up there. And I'm pretty sure I can take that boss. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll give it a, a good try here, and uh, let's begin. I'll keep Invispot on just in case I can't take the boss. And you know, farming bosses. Oh, <laughs> I actually started this fight without um, any of my abilities. Oh look, a chest. Even though it's not on the map, it's because the boss is here. 
So we're going to kill the two lackeys that are near the chest. And dodge their attacks because they're annoying. <laughs> oh, here comes the boss. I can actually keep these guys alive, kind of as a health sponge of sorts. Yeah, let's do that. Now, because he's gonna he's gonna activate his little mega fire spell here. We're just gonna run from that. Oh yeah, this is an easy fight. This is a very easy fight. As long as we don't get too close. And then, you know, as long as I don't get hit by uh, the Galatine pair attack. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Now, some people will need Druidic uh, Staff. Or, the Druidic Staff is the best way to solo bosses. It's one of the best weapons. It heals you the hardest, it hits hard, it'll keep you alive. It's just, uh, it's just really good to have. We're gonna run from this. I'm actually gonna use, well, I don't have boots to use, but that's fine. And, dodge the Galatine once again. Now we can start unloading our spells onto him. And, and you can see, I'm, I'm nearly full health. That is thanks to the roast, uh, roast pork lifesteal food that we have. And, uh, oh, oh, Galatine pair. <laughs> oh, if only it were that easy to dodge from players. <laughs> oh, the new Morgana cape changes are going to be nightmarish. All right, and that is another chest down. Let's see what we got here. 148,000, okay? And, uh, again, this is just blue zone, no-risk content, right? Uh, so, there we go. And you may be thinking, but it's a test realm. The values aren't correct. No, this is a fresh test realm right off uh, from the PTR, like, literally an hour so everything is still updated. I'll show you. Look, the value of the runes here, 469. On a test round, this would be like 20 to 50,000. I'm telling you. So from here, because it's a static dungeon, we can respawn here and then go through the middle. We know there's a chest there. We can scout up there. I can, you know, use my movement speed and just get over here if I wanted to. But I, I don't really need to farm the whole dungeon. I think you guys kind of understand the point. Uh, if, if you want, I can show you how you would do it in a group dungeon, if, if you're new, if you're curious. Though, so if you're a brand new player, you won't be soloing group dungeons just yet. That is something that you'll need to do maybe after your first month of playing. Uh, I don't know if there's even any group dungeons around here. I'm just gonna have to manually find one, because I didn't scout any out. But, um, you can see also that, uh, this is not available on East. Uh, you won't, you won't get this till Christmas, but the Snow Husky. Fastest mount in the game. It has 132% gallop, and I know someone's going to be like, Oh, the new owls have 133 gallop. Who cares about that? What we care about is the ability that increases your move speed by 90%. Okay, so 90% plus 132, that's how much move speed you're getting. Okay? <laughs> People always get set mad when I go, Okay, like I'm Mr. Mackey from South Park or something. But the point is, is that this is, if you can just maximize how fast you move through dungeons, group dungeons, solo dungeons, or not solo dungeons, you would kill everything in those pretty quick. Uh, uh, static dungeons, though, okay? Static dungeons, here you go, here's a group dungeon. Uh, and it's a, it's a 4.2 group dungeon. So we're going to equip, like I said, we're going to equip our little movement speed set, and we're going to move through this bad boy, and... Like, this is the first floor, right? So, here's the thing. Group dungeons, for people like me, there's no reason for me to do them unless I'm doing it for treasure. So, this is how I'm checking for treasure. Is I'm going to run through each tile set and see if there is anything worth killing the enemies for. If there is a purple chest or something, like this is, what, a fountain boss? So, no, that's a... It doesn't... Oh, this is new! This is absolutely new. That that would be probably a green chest, I believe. But um, it's interesting because um, it doesn't show the chest quality anymore. They hide it. It was grayed out. Isn't that fun? All right, so I'm over here. I used my uh, jacket and viz. I don't have the boot ability right now. Um, so I would have to just use uh, stun run and soaring swipe to navigate through the dungeon. But right now we know that this floor is not worth clearing. So we can continue forward. I still have two more invises. There might be a blue chest boss here. Uh, looks like no boss. Okay. And again, group dungeon mobs are hurting me hard. They hit pretty dang hard. And we can just invis this. So I'm going to invis this. And then we, we saved. That's five minutes saved. It, t it would take me five entire minutes to clear that entire floor. For what? A green chest? No thank you. Okay. So, uh, we got our invis from our jacket back. We don't have our helmet or, or our boots. So, 
Well, let's, um... I do want more health regeneration. Now, this is where you would just swap and heal yourself and then swap back. But because it's 8.4, it's, uh... <laughs> it does regenerate my life quite quickly. Gathering gear is good like that. Alright, let's continue forward. And we're just gonna jump past all these dudes. And there we go, that's, that's a mob pile skipped. And the way it would work is if I found one good chest, like a purple chest or something, then I'm just going to start killing mobs, backtrack, get the chest, use the skip set to run back to the chest, and so on. Let's see here, we have... Uh, that's a tome chest. Aren't you glad we're skipping all these mobs and not clearing them manually? We have to invis here. Okay. And let's hope we don't act. Okay, good. That was a really close one. We might have had to have potioned there, but we do have boots. Helmet coming up soon. Uh, <laughs> this is also where Undead Cape would simply save you because Undead Cape is only going to be five seconds of invis, whereas uh, this one, you lose invis if you travel a certain distance. So you want to make sure that you get as far forward as possible. And also, if um, if I wanted, I could swap Stalker Jacket whenever this is off cold or on cold. I'll show you. This makes me far more tanky than than the Gathering set. Um, that's just how it is. Okay, let's uh, let's continue for forward. Uh, I have boots. I have. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff here, so we can run through some mobs. Let's see. Uh, go ahead and hello. There we go. And boots. See see whenever they attack me. How much further I move. And there we go. We just saved another five minutes, okay? That entire floor was only worth a green tome chest, which is only like seven or eight tier two tomes. So like 16,000 fame. It, that was a terrible floor. There would be no reason for any player ever to run that. Unless you're just doing it for fame. But if you're fame farming, just go solo statics. There's no reason to do the dungeons. And here we go. Next floor. Let's go. Now, one thing to be careful about is you don't want to do this swipe attack on enemies. The reason why is if you attack an enemy and try to go to the next floor, you are considered in combat and unable to go to the next floor. So that's a green chest. I can tell you right now, it's a green chest. And we're going to invis shortly here, right about... No, I, that's not invis. I have I have the helmet, though. Oh, I'm downed here. I'm going to invis pot because I don't want the repair bill. Theoretically, it's the test realm. It really wouldn't matter. But you see, I tried to go invis with my armor ability, and I had the dang stalker jacket equipped. Something to just something to think about. Luckily, this patrol only goes this way. He's not gonna go this way. He better not go this way. Uh, so we do have time to reset. Swap back to our armor invis since our boots and helmet are on cooldown, and we're gonna continue along here. Maybe I can walk around him without aggro. Oh, barely. <laughs> Maybe I can sneak around this little little corner. These books are super deadly. Ranged enemies and spellcasters in this game hurt so much. They really do. I don't know what the deal is. And we're just going to run past those dudes. And okay, so we're to the boss room. So this boss room, looking at the tile set, it's a blue chest. I don't even really need to scout out further. I'll show you just, just to prove it. It's just blue chest, which, um, yeah, there it is. Demons. That's, that's, again, just a blue chest. So this entire dungeon, we saved 15 minutes clearing it, and I don't know how long it took to scout it out, but, uh, you know, every, all the time that you save, if you were treasure hunting or whatever, you know, trying to get the big Gucci loot, there you go. Now we know that dungeon sucked. But that's the whole point of the video. That's the whole point of running these skip sets. Yes, you are risking a higher repair bill because you have more gear on you. You don't have to use 8.3, 8.4 gear for your skip set. You can use the cheapo stuff. Like, uh, the, these courier work boots. Right? Like, I'll show you the repair bill. Um, here, let's just go get beat up by some mobs. And uh, I'll show you the repair bill on, on our skip set. Now, of course, this is going to be expensive because it's 8.4. You don't have to use 8.4. You can just use a regular assassin jacket. It doesn't matter. But uh, just, just like your boots and your helmet and stuff, even at tier 8 for gathering, it's not that much. <laughs> so hopefully this teaches you how to, how to run through group dungeons faster, how to run through static dungeons faster. And uh, normally I do statics for the fame. I don't really do it for the treasure because I'm doing tier 4. But if you're doing, uh, for instance, if you're a brave lad and you're you know using a nature staff to solo black zone static dungeons, then you can absolutely run through them super quickly. Uh, okay, so repair bill uh, for 
Oh, here we go. So the helmet was a thousand seven hundred. The boots a thousand seven hundred. The armor twenty six thousand because it's point four. The weapon four hundred. Whoop de doo, right? So anyway, that, and just in case you're curious, that's that's the video, guys. I'm Soul Bidgey. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you understood the importance of skip sets and having multiple sets of invisibility so that you can navigate the dungeons faster to increase your profits. With that said, if you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below if you want to learn even more advanced guides. It's like Twitch where you pay five bucks a month. I get half of that. But here on YouTube, you get access to private and more personal videos. Uh, there's a playlist on my channel. Go check out the playlist section. If any of those interest you, feel free to become a channel member. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video, which, by the way, there's one on the right side of your screen. A really good one you should click, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. Take care.